This audio program has been produced as a supplement to Side by Side Extra and Side by Side Plus Student Book 2 by Stephen J. Malinsky and Bill Bliss. Copyright 2016 by Pearson Education Incorporated. All rights reserved. The use of this audio program for the purposes of copying, transforming, or adapting in any manner, in whole or in part, is strictly prohibited without prior consent of Pearson Education. Page 27 Side-by-Side -side Gazette Food shopping. In the past, people shopped for fruits, vegetables, bread, and meat at small food stores and at open markets. Before there were refrigerators, it was difficult to keep food fresh for a long time, so people shopped almost every day. Life today is very different from the past. Refrigerators keep food fresh, so people don't have to shop every day. People also have very busy lives. They have time to shop for food only once or twice a week. People shop for food in different kinds of places. In small grocery stores, at large supermarkets, and sometimes at enormous wholesale stores that sell food and other items at very low prices. Some people even shop on the Internet. They order food online and the company delivers it to their home. And in many places around the world, people still shop in little food stores and at open markets. There are certainly many different ways to shop for food these days. Page 27. Build your vocabulary. Ordering fast food. I'd like a hamburger, please. I'd like a hot dog, please. I'd like a sandwich, please. I'd like a taco, please. I'd like a bowl of chili, please. I'd like a slice of pizza, please. I'd like a donut, please. I'd like a bagel, please. I'd like a muffin, please. Page 28. Around the World. Where people shop for food. People in different places shop for food in different ways. These people shop for food at an open market. This person buys a fresh loaf of bread every day at this bakery. These people go to a big supermarket once a week. Where do people shop for food in countries you know? Where do you shop for food? Page 28. Global Exchange.
Hi, Maria. How are you today? I just had breakfast. I had a glass of orange juice, a bowl of cereal, and a muffin. At 12 noon, I'm going to have lunch. For lunch, I usually have a sandwich and a glass of milk. Our family's big meal of the day is dinner. We usually eat at about 6 p.m. We usually have meat, chicken, or fish, rice or potatoes, and vegetables. How about you? When do you usually eat? What do you have? What's your big meal of the day? Hi, Glenn. It's the middle of the afternoon here. Our family just had our big meal of the day. Today we had meat, potatoes, and vegetables. For breakfast, I usually have a roll and a cup of hot chocolate. We don't have a big dinner in the evening. We usually have a snack early in the evening and a light supper at about 9.30. Listening. Attention food shoppers. Listen and match the products and the prices. One. Attention food shoppers. Thank you for shopping at Save Right Supermarket. Crispy cereal is on sale this week. A box of crispy cereal is only $3.49. 3 dollars is a very good price for crispy cereal. So buy some today. Two. Attention shoppers. Right now in the bakery section, whole wheat bread is on sale. Buy a loaf of whole wheat bread for only two seventy-five. That's right, just two seventy-five. The bread is hot and fresh, so come to the bakery section and get a loaf now. Three. Thank you for shopping at Sunny Supermarket. We have a special low price on orange juice today. A quart of orange juice is only a dollar seventy-nine. Orange juice is in aisle five, next to the milk. Four. Hello, food shoppers. It's 95 degrees today. It's a good day for Sorelli's ice cream. Sorelli's ice cream comes in vanilla, chocolate, and other delicious flavors. And today, a pint of Sorelli's ice cream is only $3.25. Welcome to Bartley's Supermarket. We have a special today on bananas. You can buy bananas for only 40 cents a pound. Bananas are good for you. So walk over to our fruit section and buy a bunch of bananas today. Page 59. Side by Side Gazette. Did you know? The longest car in the world is 100 feet long. It has 26 wheels, a swimming pool, and a waterbed. 
The world's biggest costume party is the Carnival celebration in Brazil. Every day during Carnival, more than 50,000 people walk through the streets in costumes. The largest subway station in the world is Grand Central Terminal in New York City. Every day, more than half a million people pass through the station. The biggest igloo in the world is the Ice Hotel in Sweden. It has rooms for 150 guests. Every year, workers have to rebuild the hotel because it melts in the spring. Page 59. Build your vocabulary. Adjectives with negative prefixes. They're uncomfortable. They're unfriendly. They're unhealthy. They're unsafe. They're impatient. They're impolite. They're inexpensive. They're dishonest. Page 60. Around the World. Recreation and Entertainment. The most popular type of outdoor recreation in France is camping. Every night, three million people in France sleep outside. Movies are the most popular type of entertainment in India. Every day, 15 million people in India go to the movies. The most popular sport in the world is football. This game is called soccer in the United States. More than 100 million people play football in over 150 countries. What are the most popular types of recreation and entertainment in different countries you know? Page 60. Global Exchange. I'm going on vacation with my family tomorrow. We're going to the most popular beach in our country. We'll stay there for a week in a small hotel. It isn't the best hotel there, but it's the friendliest and the closest to the beach. We go there every year. It's a lot of fun. The water is clear and the air is fresh. My sister and my brother and I swim all day and we go to an amusement park in the evening. I think it has the largest roller coaster in the world. So I'll write again when I get back and tell you all about our vacation. P.S. Do you have a favorite vacation place? Where is it? When do you go there? What do you do? Page 60. Listening. And now, a word from our sponsors. Listen and match the products. And now, a word from our sponsors. Are you looking for a special gift for a special person in your life? A birthday gift? 
An anniversary present? Come to Rings and Things, the best store in town for rings, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, and other fine things. Rings and Things on Main Street downtown or at the East Side Mall. That was an excellent dinner. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Can I help you wash the dishes? Thanks, but they're already in the dishwasher. Is your dishwasher on? Yes, it is. I can't believe it. Your dishwasher is much quieter than mine. It's new. We got it at the Big Value store. They sell the quietest dishwashers in town. That's right. The Big Value store sells the quietest dishwashers in town. We also have the largest refrigerators, the most powerful washing machines, and the best ovens. And we also have the best prices. So come to the Big Value store on Airport Road, open seven days a week. Oh, I can't believe it. It's three o'clock in the morning and I can't fall asleep. This bed is so uncomfortable. I need a new bed. I need a new bed now. Do you have this problem? Is your bed uncomfortable? Come to Comfort Kingdom for the most comfortable beds you can buy. We also have the most beautiful sofas and the most attractive tables and chairs in the city. And our salespeople are the friendliest and the most helpful in town. So visit Comfort Kingdom today because life is short and you should be comfortable. I'm standing here today in front of Electric City so we can talk to a typical customer. Here's a typical customer now. He's leaving the store with a large box. Let's ask him a question. Excuse me, sir. May I ask you a question? Certainly. What did you buy today? A VCR. And why did you buy it at Electric City? Because Electric City has the cheapest and the most dependable products in town. Is this your first time at Electric City? Oh, no. Last year I bought a radio here, and the year before I bought a TV. And are you happy with those products? Absolutely. The radio is much better than my old one, and the picture on my TV is much bigger and brighter. So are you a happy customer? Definitely. There is no place like Electric City. It's the best store in town. Well, there you have it. Another happy Electric City customer. Visit an Electric City store near you today. This is it. It's the biggest sale of the year. And it's this weekend at Recreation Station. That's right. Everything is on sale. Sneakers, tennis rackets, footballs, basketballs, everything in the store. It's all on sale at Recreation Station. We're the largest, we're the most convenient, we're the best, and this weekend, we're the cheapest. It's the biggest sale of the year, and it's this weekend, only at Recreation Station. Page 81, Side-by-Side -side Gazette. You're hired. We asked personnel officers at companies in New York, Los Angeles, Toronto, Miami, Chicago, and Vancouver 
What should job applicants do to have a successful job interview? Here is their advice. 1. Dress neatly. Don't dress sloppily. Comb your hair neatly. 2. Arrive promptly. Don't be late for your interview. Try to arrive early. 3. Shake hands firmly. A firm handshake shows that you are a friendly and confident person. 4. Look at the interviewer directly. Make eye contact. Smile. 5. Listen carefully to the interviewer. Listen to the questions carefully so you can answer accurately. 6. Speak politely. Don't speak too quickly and don't speak too loudly or softly. 7. Answer questions honestly. Tell the truth. 8. Speak confidently. Describe your skills and experience completely. If you don't have experience, you should talk about how you can learn quickly. 9. Speak enthusiastically. Show that you really want the job. 10. Send a thank you note promptly. Thank the interviewer for his or her time and express again your interest in the job. Page 81. Build your vocabulary. Occupations. I'm an assembler. I'm a designer. I'm a director. I'm a gardener. I'm an inspector. I'm a photographer. I'm a programmer. I'm a supervisor. I'm a welder. I'm a writer. Page 82. Around the world. Men and women at work. The jobs that men and women have are changing in many countries around the world. A construction worker in Vietnam. A nurse in Costa Rica. A teacher in Bangladesh. A company president in France. An airline pilot in England. A homemaker in the United States. What jobs do men and women usually have in different countries you know? Is this changing? Page 82. Global Exchange. In your last message, you asked me to tell you more about myself. So I will. I'm very athletic. I get up early every morning and I run for an hour. My friends say I'm a fast runner. I'm also a hard worker. I work very hard at school. I'm a good driver. I drive very carefully. I'm not a good dancer. I don't dance very well. 
I'm not really a very shy person, but everybody tells me I speak softly. And I like to play the piano. I play pretty well, but I want to play better, so I have a piano lesson every week. How about you? Tell me more about yourself. Page 82. Listening. Attention all employees. Listen to these announcements at different workplaces. Match the workplace and the word you hear. Workplace 1. Attention all employees. This is Ms. Barnum, the factory supervisor. There were three accidents in our factory last week. Nobody was hurt badly, but I worry about these accidents. Please try to work more carefully. Thank you for your attention. Workplace 2 Attention all employees. There is a small fire in the building. Please walk quickly to the nearest exit. Don't run. I repeat, there is a small fire in the building. Please walk quickly to the nearest exit. Workplace 3 May I have your attention, please? The president of our company will visit our office tomorrow. Please dress neatly for her visit. Thank you. Workplace 4 Cut! Okay, everybody. That was good, but you're still singing too softly. Please try to sing more loudly, okay? Let's try that again. Workplace 5 Attention, please. As you know, the weather is very bad this afternoon. And according to the weather forecast, the storm is going to get worse. Therefore, we are going to close the office early today. All employees can leave at 3.30. Get home safely. See you tomorrow. Page 103 Side by Side Gazette Families and Time It seems that everywhere around the world, people are spending more time at work or alone and less time with their families and friends. People are busier than ever before. In the past, in many countries, the father worked and the mother stayed home, took care of the children, and did the food shopping, cooking, and cleaning. Nowadays, in many families, both parents work so they both have to do the shopping, cooking, and cleaning in their free time. Parents, therefore, don't have as much time with their children as they used to have in the past. There are also many single-parent families. In these families, the single parent has to do everything. These days, many children come home from school to an empty apartment or house. A lot of children spend many hours each day in front of the television. Even when families are together, it is common for family members to do things by themselves. For example, 
They watch programs on separate TVs in different rooms. They use the internet. They talk with friends on the telephone. And they do other individual activities. Isn't it strange? Thanks to technology, people are able to communicate so easily with people far away. But sometimes they don't communicate as well as before with people in their own homes. Page 103. Build your vocabulary. Home appliances. I think the coffee maker is broken. I think the dishwasher is broken. I think the dryer is broken. I think the garbage disposal is broken. I think the iron is broken. I think the microwave is broken. I think the toaster is broken. I think the vacuum cleaner is broken. I think the washing machine is broken. I think the washer is broken. Page 104. Around the world. Child care. While parents around the world are working, who takes care of their young children? There are many different types of child care for preschool children around the world. These children are in a daycare center in their community. These children are in a daycare center in a factory where their parents work. This child stays home during the day with his grandmother. What different types of child care are there in countries you know? Page 104. Global Exchange. Hi, it's me. I'm sorry I didn't answer your last email. You won't believe what happened this week. My computer crashed and I lost all my files, my email messages, my address book, and all my schoolwork. I wasn't able to hand in the term paper for my science class yesterday because it was on my computer. I couldn't study very well for a history test because all my study notes for the exam were also on the computer. And besides all that, I tripped and fell yesterday while I was practicing for the school play. What a week! I'm glad it's over. Tell me, how was your week? I hope it was better than mine. Page 104. 
listening. You have five messages. Listen to the messages on Jim's machine. Match the people and their messages. You have five messages. Message one. Friday, 2.15 p.m. Hi, Jim. This is Pete. I just got your message. I'm sorry I won't be able to help you move to your new apartment tomorrow, but I've got to work overtime. Bye. Message 2. Friday, 3.10 p.m. Hi, Jim. It's Susie. Sorry I won't be able to help you move tomorrow. I've got to visit my grandparents out of town. Good luck. Talk to you soon. Message 3. Friday, 3.55 p.m. Jim? Hi, it's Marty. How are you? I'm not so good. I'm having problems with my car. I have to take it to a mechanic, so I'm afraid I won't be able to help you move. Sorry. Give me a call sometime, okay? Take care. Message 4. Friday, 5.48 p.m. Hello, Jim. It's Judy. You know, I really want to help you move, but I've got to stay home all day tomorrow and wait for the plumber. My kitchen sink is broken, and there's water everywhere. Hope your move goes okay. Sorry I can't help. Let's talk soon. Message 5, Sunday, 9.29 p.m. Jim, it's Tom. Gee, I'm really sorry I wasn't able to help you move yesterday. I wasn't feeling well, and I had to stay in bed all day. I'm feeling much better now. Call me. Maybe we can get together soon. Page 137, Side-by-Side -side Gazette. Communities. There are many different kinds of communities around the world. Communities can be urban, in a city, suburban, near a city, or rural, in the countryside, far from a city. Urban communities usually have many neighborhoods where people often live close together in apartment buildings or small houses. Streets in these neighborhoods often have lots of people and many stores and businesses. People in urban neighborhoods often walk or take public transportation to get to places. In suburban communities, people typically live in separate houses. Stores and businesses are not usually nearby, and people often have to drive to get there. Some suburban communities have public transportation, and others don't. In rural communities, people often live far apart from each other, not in neighborhoods. There isn't usually any public transportation, and people have to drive everywhere. Whether in urban, suburban, or rural areas, some communities are friendly, and others aren't. For example, in some communities, people know their neighbors, they help each other, and their children play together all the time. In other communities, people keep to themselves, 
and sometimes don't even know their neighbors' names. In the old days, most people around the world lived in small towns and villages where they knew their neighbors. These days, more people live in large urban communities. Experts predict that in the future, most people will live in megacities of more than 10 million people. Will there be friendly neighborhoods in these communities of the future? Time will tell. Page 137. Build your vocabulary. Household repair people. Who's at the door? The appliance repair person. The cable TV installer. The chimney sweep. The exterminator. The house painter. The TV repair person. Page 138. Around the world. Where friends get together. These friends are meeting in the plaza in the center of Guanajuato, Mexico. These friends are meeting at a coffee shop in Los Angeles. These friends are talking in a park in Shanghai. Where do friends meet in different countries you know? Page 138. Global Exchange. I'm really looking forward to next weekend. Our family will be celebrating my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary. Everybody in my family will be there. My parents, my brothers and sisters, and all my aunts, uncles, and cousins. We're going to have a big dinner at our home. Then, all the grandchildren will present a play that tells the story of my grandparents' lives together. I'm going to be my grandfather when he was 20 years old. We're going to have music and dancing, and we're going to give them a special anniversary present a book of photographs of our whole family through the years. I'll tell you all about the party in my next message. Page 138. Listening. Who are they calling? Listen to the messages and conversations. Match the caller with the repair person. One. Hello, this is Dan the Drain Man. I'm not here to take your call. Please leave your name, number, and the time you called. Also, Please describe the problem. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day. Hello. This is Amy Francis. My number is 355-3729. It's 3 o'clock Friday afternoon. My kitchen faucet is broken. I can't turn off the water. Please call back as soon as possible. 
thank you. Two. Hello. This is Helen's home repair. If you break it, we can fix it. Nobody is here right now. Leave a message after the beep, and we'll call you back. Thank you. Hi, this is Paul Mendoza. My front steps are broken, and I need somebody who can fix them. My phone number is two six six, o three eight one. Please call back soon. I'm having a party this weekend, and nobody will be able to get into my house. Thank you. Three. Hi, this is Kevin's key service. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. Thanks. Good morning. My name is Jim Carney. I'm really embarrassed. I just lost my keys while I was jogging, and I can't get into my apartment. I'm calling from my neighbor's apartment across the hall. I live at 44 Wilson Road, apartment 3B. My neighbor's number is 276-9184. Please call back soon. Thank you. Four. Gary's garage. May I help you? Yes. I think there's something wrong with my steering wheel. What's the problem? It's difficult to turn right, and it's very difficult to turn left. Hmm. That's not good. What's your name? Jennifer Park. Phone number eight three six seven two seven five. Can you be here tomorrow morning at eight? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Five. Hello, Rita's Repair Company. Hi, is this Rita? No, this is the answering service. May I help you? Yes, my doorbell is broken. It won't stop ringing. I can hear that. Your name, please. Ed Green. Address. Twenty-two nineteen High Street. And your phone number. Nine two three four one eight seven. Will someone be home all day? Yes, I'll be here. Okay. Rita will be there before five p.m. Thank you. This is the end of the audio program. Thank you for listening.